My name is Megan Dickinson and I am 43 years old and I'm two years into my journey with metastatic breast cancer. I have a family history of female cancers. So in my early 40s, I requested a mammogram. So I had one November uh, of the year I turned 40. It came back identifying as heterogeneously dense breasts, which I was told was not an issue. It's pretty normal for someone my age and they didn't find anything of concern. And that was it. Nothing was ever offered beyond that. Nothing was ever explained the implications of that. The possibility of developing breast cancer, or in my case, already having breast cancer at the time, they just didn't see it um, because they couldn't with that type of imaging. 15 months later, I was traveling for work and just happenstance, I got out of a, a bathtub and I sort of pressed against the side of my breast and uh, found a very hard lump. I went for an ultrasound. Uh, the radiologist was advised me at that time that he was fairly certain I did have in fact breast cancer and he was gonna send me for a biopsy in a few days. I had a biopsy done and a week later I was diagnosed with uh, invasive ductal carcinoma. From there, I had a CT scan, uh, a breast MRI, and a bone scan where they discovered that I not only had uh, a six by six by three centimeter uh, mass in my breast, I had five seeds also in my breast, I had two lymph nodes involved, I had a tumor in my right humerus, one in my T4, and one in my sternum. So that's when I was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer.